Hello, dear children. Welcome to the second class of English Literature. Yesterday, we had started with the chapter Ivan's Story by Catherine Applegate. And in the story, I had explained to you that Ivan was a young gorilla whose past life was a perfect life for him. He was named Mud by his parents and he was happily living in a dense forest of Central Africa with his troop. Ivan narrated to us that there were 10 members in his troop. His father, the silverback, his mother, there were other three gor female gorillas. There was a young gorilla, male gorilla, known as blackback. Then there were two other young gorillas and then Tag who was, his, who was his twin sister and he himself. He loved the life there in jungle. He loved playing Tag. He loved playing with mud and so he was named Mud by his parents. He even tells us that he was learning the skills of life that a gorilla requires to learn. The skills were to make a nest of branches, to beat his chest properly, to move from one to tree to another and to be kind, strong and loyal. He says that it was a perfect life for him but one day the humans came. So this was the past life of Mud. Now, in the present, he is known as Ivan and is adopted by, excuse me, and is adopted by humans. He was captured then there in the jungle along with his sisters, uh, along with his twin sister and was adopted by a human family. So let's continue with the chapter. Day 2. Wine. Wine. After they captured my sister and me, they put us in a cramped, dark crate. So, Ivan says that after they were captured by these humans, they had put them, his sister, twin sister Tag and himself in a dark crate. What is a crate? You see the picture here? I have a picture ready for you. Crate is a large wooden container for transporting something. You must have seen this crate even in a market, okay? To carry vegetables or maybe the shopkeeper must have kept it uh, kept inside it some fruits okay so crate is a container wooden container and is used to transfer just imagine that in this container Ivan was kept then cramped means small and crowded with not much room to move so cramped means what it is a verb it means to Put things inside something which is already full and you are forcefully putting it inside when there is no space inside, when there is no room to move. So, Tag and his, uh, Tag and Ivan, they were crammed into a dark crate. Further, he says that, he says that somehow, I knew it that in order to live, I had to let my old life die. But my sister could not let go of it. She kept thinking about our home all the time till she felt very sick. So he says that he knew that in order to live, in order to live a happy life now, what he has to do? He had to let his old life die. That means that, that means he has to forget whatever was there in his old life. He has to forget his jungle. He has to forget his parents, his sister, everybody. But my sister could not let go of it. But Tag, she couldn't forget them. She was little too tiny. So she could not forget 
she kept thinking about our home all the time so tag says that sorry ivan says that she kept tag kept thinking about home and what happened she fell very sick so children here what we learn is if whatever mistakes we have done in life or whatever has spoiled in life or something that bothers us a lot we should forget that thing and move forward because that thing will drag us back it will not let us move forward okay page 2 the temporary human so here the temporary human who is that temporary human it is ivan because now he has got a life of human his staying is adopted by mac and helen his foster parents and is he is treated as a human baby so that's why he becomes a temporary human it says that it was mac who opened that crate mac who took me and mac who raised me like a human baby i drank from the bottle i slept in human beds sat in human chairs listened while human words swarmed around me like angry bees so what does he mean here he says that when he knows who opened the crate you remember he was uh, crammed into a crate and that crate was opened by mac now mac he took him he raised him like a human baby that is he was loved by mac the way his parents loved him his foster parents also loved him mac took care of him like a human baby and he drank from bottle like we humans do he drank from bottle he slept in human beds sat in human chairs listened while human words swarmed around him so he used to listen to what humans are talking but he says here that swarmed around me like angry bees right because he didn't understand a word that they talked the words were there people were talking and he could hear but he could understand nothing so it felt like when you see bees angry bees around what happens the buzzing sound they make it's you don't understand but you know that something is there so similarly he knew that they were talking but he could not understand them he says that mac's wife helen was quite quick to love but quick to anger too especially so he says that mac's wife helen okay, who was her foster mother was quick to laugh she was very quick in laughing and even in getting angry especially he says just a minute children i lost the highlighter here when i broke broke something which was often so he said she used to even get angry quickly especially when ivan broke something okay ivan broke something and that this breaking had become often it was often he used to break something or the other i broke the blender when i squeezed three tube tubes of toothpaste and a bottle of glue into it so what had he done he had broken a blender you must know what a blender is okay blender is uh, an appliance where we put things eatables okay to mix it to mix those eatables or to blend those eatables you must be having at home you can ask your mama for that okay i broke the blender when i squeezed three tubes so what did he do he squeezed means what you put pressure to something on something from all the sides that is to squeeze when you take out the paste from out of the uh, tube of toothpaste what do you do you squeeze it so he squeezed three tubes of toothpaste and a bottle of glue into it So see how naughty Ivan was. It says I broke my toes attempting to swing from a lamp fixture in the ceiling. So what he had done, he even broke his toes. And what was he trying? 
Attempting means trying. Attempting, he was trying to swing from a lamp fixture in the ceiling. There was a, a lamp, lamp fixed there on the ceiling and he was trying to swing on that. And maybe he fell down and he broke his toe. He also says that I broke 46 classes. Well, it turns out there are many ways to break a class. So he says that he broke 46 classes. And then what he says after that? Well, it turns out there are many ways. So he broke, he threw it in a way. In a way, he threw the glass, it broke. Then he, he tried it to throw the glass another way. And then he tried to break it in some other way. So he tried to use different ways to break the glasses. And in order to, uh, while discovering different ways of breaking glass, what did he do? He broke 46 glasses. Okay. So word meanings I have already told you. Swarmed means crowded. Squeezed means to apply pressure to form, uh, to from two or more sides at once. Approved means confirmed. Let's go to the third page. He says every weekend Mac Every weekend, Mac and Helen drove me to a restaurant where they ordered something for me. I went to baseball games, to the grocery store, to a movie theater, even to a circus. They did not have a gorilla. I rode a little motorbike and blew out candles on a birthday cake. My life as a human was an exciting one, although my parents would not have approved. So approved here means what? Approved here means confirmed. So he says that every weekend, you know what weekend is? The end of the week. You can say it's a Sunday. Okay. So every weekend, Mac and Helen drove me to a restaurant. Mac and Helen, those who were, uh, who were his foster parents, they used to take him to a restaurant, order uh, eatables for him. He even says that he went to baseball games, he went to grocery store, he went to movie theater, even to a circus. And there was no gorilla in the circus. He even rode a little bike, motor uh, bike. And he blew candles. So even candles on a birthday cake. So they even celebrated. You can see the picture here. They even celebrated Ivan's birthday. Okay. So he says that his life as a human, as a temporary human was an exciting one. So he has told us that his life in the jungle was a perfect one. And here he says that his life here with humans was an exciting one. Although his parents, although my parents, here, you know, which parents is he talking about? His real parents. They would have never approved it. Approved means never would have agreed to it or confirmed it. Next page. Hunger. In my new life as a human, I was well taken care of, yet at night, lying alone in my pajamas, I longed for the cheerful grunts of a play fight and easy safety to my nearby troop. So what he says here is, he says that in his new life as a temporary human, as a human, he was very well taken care of, he was loved by his foster parents, yet at night, when he was there on his bed in his pajamas, Pajamas, you know, the logos that we wear before sleeping. So, in my pajamas, he used to, I longed. Longed here means what? This is the word, I'm highlighting it again. Okay, longed. Longed here means what? It is a, uh, it is a verb here. It means that he desired. Okay, he wanted to listen to a cheerful grunt of a play fight. So, you remember they used to fight and there was grunt. His father used to make grunt. Even they used to do that while playing. 
so he missed that grant and the play fights that he used to have with other gorillas or with his twin sister and the easy safety of my nearby troop so what does easy safety mean easy safety means the feeling of being loved and protected he knew that his troop is beside whenever he was there in jungle and they would always look after him they would always protect him so he missed all that even though he was very in his life with humans was exciting he was well taken care of yet he used to miss so you remember a question i had asked in the beginning do you think a gorilla would uh, if brought and made him stay with made him stay if he made a gorilla stay with humans will he enjoy that life even though he will enjoy it he will surely miss his natural habitat his parents the same as us if we are taken to a jungle then we are made to stay with certain animals will we like it will we do that we'll never do it isn't it so same goes with the gorilla he used to miss his family he says that remember what happened to tag i told myself so he used to remind himself the vant remember what happened to tag he she used to miss her family a lot and so she fell sick don't think about the jungle this is what he used to tell himself don't think about the jungle still sometimes i lay away wishing for the warmth of another just like me so he says sometimes he used to lay away okay he used to just lie down and wishing for the warmth of another that is of another just like me i'm highlighting it again of another just like me means someone of his kind that is another gorilla to give him warmth okay his love that another gorilla's love he would miss care he would miss next slide it says that later ivan is sent to a shopping mall where he becomes a part of a stationary circus for many many years here he becomes used to humans watching him all the time and he hardly ever thinks of the jungle so here what happened after some time ivan had to leave mac and helen and he was sent to a shopping mall okay not to shop dear children but he was kept inside a cage okay which was a stationary circus stationary means something that cannot be moved so if you have seen circus they move from one place to another isn't it they come to a town then they move to some other town but here it was a stationary circus that his place was fixed in the mall for many many years here he became used to humans watching him all the time and he became very used to people coming watching maybe people used to click his picture or something like that okay he became used to it and he hardly ever thinks of the jungle just imagine children ivan was there in the mall and people all around he had he was always surrounded by people will you like it always surrounded by somebody or the other don't you require your own space so let's see what he has to say further i lost the highlighter again okay he says that after people begin to protest about ivan's living conditions at the mall he is adopted by a zoo to know more about ivan and what happens to him read the complete novel so it says that after people they had begun they had begun to uh, protest about how uh, ivan is living in the mall his living conditions in the mall he was shifted he was adopted by a zoo and it says that to know more about ivan you have to read the complete 
novel and what happened to know to Ivan. To know that you need to read the complete novel. That is it, children. Thank you so much. I'm sending you the questions and other exercises to solve. Kindly solve it. Okay? And if possible, do read the chapter once. Thank you so much.